So, everyone, you've clicked on this video for one or two reasons. The first one being, you kinda suck at the game and you wanna get good at it. The second reason, you just wanna rewatch this video to see my tips and tricks so that you could use it in game again. Yeah? Okay, let's get on with this video. Hello everyone, I'm Razor012, and today I'll be showing you some tips and tricks on how to get started in generic roleplay game. So, in this lobby, you are considered a spectator in this area. You could pick all those teams, but in reality, they cost money. Civilian is 50 bucks, while council member is 2,000 bucks. And yes, the costs vary depending on how OP the team actually is. So, hmm, what's the most basic team you gotta start with? You have to be peasant. Now, let me explain what, what peasant is, you know. There are pros and cons to being peasant. The first being you don't pay taxes. And the second being the barbarians usually don't attack you. And, and yes, that happens. But the cons is you are hungry. You could get arrested if you sneak into the town. And yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Oh wait, I forgot to mention one more pro. You can also join the Barbarians as well as Peasant, so keep that in mind, boys. Now, here's a few basic tips. You press E to join the Peasants, or step on the brown square. Press Q to run. Like, you, you press Q to run. Press C to kneel. Or you could do the Universal Sign of Peace, of course. Which is the crouch thing. Keys aside. Right behind me is the daily bonuses. You need to get free money every day to keep playing this game. So, I highly suggest you get premium to get more money. Totally not an ad. But if you don't have premium, that's okay. Because you could just stand right here and claim the money, but you have to kneel. Just kidding, you don't have to kneel, but you you could just stand here to get 50 money, and you could kneel here, if you join the group, to get 250 money. Yeah, yeah, group daily bonus. You have to join the GRG group in the description to get your money. Yeah. Now anyways, once you're done with that, head for the town gate. The town gate will let you in and become a civilian. But a lot of people may not know how to do this, so let me show you in simple terms how to get there. Just simply run using the Q key and make your way to the gate. However, there are barbarians over there and sometimes that could happen, but that's okay. If someone's working the emission booth, oh no, no one's working as a mission. I have to wait. So to usually get in, you just sit here. Ah! Oh god! Not my legs! Who blew up my legs? Why'd you do that? Oh no! This janitor with a rocket launcher did it! Why'd you blow up my legs, man? Come on! I didn't do nothing! And let me remind you this right now. Yes, you can lose limbs. Yes, you can lose legs. I'll mention that later in the video as well. In terms of working, in terms of working, you, as a civilian or a peasant, need to make money to live. So to make money, you need to sit on these red chairs where everyone's sitting at. This player, he's sitting on a red chair. And let me go find a red chair. Let me go find a red chair. Oh, oh, there's a free one. There's a free seat. Now to make money, all you do is sit on your butt and work. And yes, um... For some reason, the leader has set the wage to a nice 54 bucks a minute. He is rich, bruh. Yeah. To be honest, I don't think he's rich. Look! This boy's poor! 139 bucks! And he set the wage to 54 dollars a minute. Bruh! Oh no! The leader set the wage to zero dollars. Bruh! Okay! 
Let's, let's uh, get on with this video before this turns into me ranting about how the leader gave me zero bucks for a wage. So when you sit, you make money. That's good. But there's also another thing you gotta know as well. If you want to make money yourself, you can make money by farming using a sickle from here, rebuilding the castle gate, or building houses with a hammer, or chopping trees with an axe, and hope to god the KFC tree man does not come out and trash the town. There's also a doctor's office, but doctors can only work here. There's a food stand, but, pe but you need someone working it to get food as well. And this is the fishing net store. This is where you can get a fishing net to go into the lake and get some free food out of it. If there is no food available, of course, and I recommend you get a fishing net so you can catch some fish. Mmm, am I right, folks? Okay, this sword store. Why the hell is it here? Basically, this is your most basic weapons shop yet. And <clears throat> people can buy swords to poke the leader, chop arms and legs off. And yes, barbarians do have it as a main weapon along with guards. That's the guard's main weapon, but... Alright, I want to show you this one thing before we move on. This is the weapon store. This is where they have all of the deadly weapons that cause a leader to die. Whatever you do, in a normal server, do not get normal weapons. Some idiot's gonna kill you and make everyone reset their progress. So, yeah. I suggest you don't get that shop at all, guys. Oh, and by the way, guys, you might be wondering, Laser, what's all the ticks in the ground? Technically, it's where a leader has spawned free money. Go collect it! Go collect it! FREE MONEY! Oh, I only got a little bit of free money. Why the heck am I overreacting to this, bruh? Oh, and I gotta mention one more thing. Disasters. They can range from barbarians being one of them when they're hungry. It can also be flooding, which means you gotta get to higher ground or the sharks bite your legs off. Or it can be the KFC tree man event, which is basically when all the trees get chopped. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a long while to summon that KFC tree man to go trash the town anyway. Alright, let's end this video because I've already explained way too much here. And with that my friends, let us go on to the outro because I'm ending this video. Okay, let's get to it. Hey everyone, before we end this video, I would like to say thank you guys for watching. If you have liked this video, please comment, like, and subscribe for more Razor012 content. And if you also have liked this video, please consider joining the Roblox group and the Discord down below. And in the Discord, we got events and much more down there. Now anyways, thank you, good night, and I'll see you then. Bye! Oh,